From the Coptic Orthodox Church of St. Mary Osoriani Monastery, this is one of the miracles of Father Felteos Osoriani. Mr. Ani Sadala from Cairo tells, I traveled to Alexandria with a friend of mine in order to run some business errands. I was on a work assignment that required me to take some photos of a large tank that needed repairing. Using my camera, I took 25 pictures. On our way back home, my friend and I decided to visit El Sorian Monastery and to spend the night there. The next day, we planned on praying the Holy Liturgy and taking Holy Communion. We were pleasantly surprised to find out that Father Felteos was praying the liturgy that day. As we were praying, my friend insisted that he wanted to take a picture of Father Felteos using my camera. I, on the other hand, informed him that Father Felteos did not like to appear in pictures, and even if we wanted to take a picture of him, we would need to ask for his permission. Nevertheless, my friend did not bother to heed my advice, and he insisted to photograph Father Felteos. As soon as he stood up to do so, Father Felteos noticed him and he said to him, Do not take the picture. However, my friend was determined to take a picture of Father Felteos. During the Holy Liturgy, while Father Felteos was praying, my friend took the picture and the flash caught Father Felteos' eyes. Immediately following that, Father Felteos stopped praying and he reprimanded my friend. He insisted that my friend should remove the film out of the camera immediately. This would cause an issue for me because I had 25 pictures in there that were work-related and I was assigned to take them. Without them, I could not complete the report that I was required to do because all of the pictures would be destroyed. I tried everything in order to convince Father Felteos not to remove the film from the camera. I even proposed that I would print his picture and give it to him. I also suggested that he take the film himself and when he gets the pictures printed, he could keep his picture and send me the other 25 that were work-related, but to no avail. Father Felteos refused. He insisted that the film needed to be taken out of the camera. I then tried to reason with him one more time. I informed him that this film contained pictures that I was required to take for my job and that it would be very difficult for me to retake them and this would cause an issue for me at work. When I lost all hopes, I told him that I would remove the film if he could guarantee for me that the 25 work-related pictures would not be destroyed. In response, he said to me, Take the film out of the camera and don't worry about the rest. Indeed, I opened the camera in front of him. I removed the film and I said to him, Here you go, Father. Is there anything else that you would like me to do? To which Father Felteos responded, No, thank you. That's fine. You may close the camera now. A few days later, I sent the film to the photo studio in order to print the pictures. And to my amazement, all the pictures that were taken in the monastery were completely destroyed. However, the pictures that I was required to take for my job were all crystal clear. This happened through the blessings of the prayers of Father Felteos.